Hello preppers and nature freaks, my name is David Mullins. Today I have a quick video for you guys. I decided to do a video on my everyday carry bag. Um, I've been asked quite a bit, what do I carry with me when I go on like uh, small hikes or road trips or anything? And I have a bag I take everywhere with me. It's a small bag. That one there. So today I'm gonna break it down and show you guys what I have in my bag and what you should carry in yours. So here's what the outside looks like. It's a bit small, but you can fit a lot of stuff in it. Um, yours don't have to be this size. It could be a little bigger, a little smaller. This is just something I carry on small hikes, like I said, and um, road trips and stuff, just to make sure I have the essentials covered. Now let's go over a couple of things I have on the outside of my bag before we dig into it. So everybody needs a compass. That's one of the most important things in my opinion. You need to know your sense of direction. I also have something to collect water in, to carry water in. Um, it's kind of small, but it does help. Um, any little bit helps. And I got a bracelet with extra cordage and a fire starter on it. You can see right there on the underside. That unclips. And it's a little flint and steel. So this is all the stuff that fits in that small little bag. Um, the reason I carry that bag because one, it's small and it's compact and it carries everything I need to where I'm confident I can survive three days in the wilderness with it. And that's what you should have with a, um, a little carry bag like that, at least three days worth of supplies in there. So starting over here, I have a tube tent um, with a piece of twine. So you can make a lot of shelters out of that. I can also lay it on the ground and collect water when it rains. Um, I can use it for, I mean, just tons of things. I mean, just use your imagination. There's tons of things. It's just a big tarp pretty much um, so I have some hand warmers over here and some gloves and hand warmers are one of those things you don't really know you need until you don't have it and they work really well I've used them working outside a lot here's my medical supplies so a pair of tweezers antibiotic um, rubber gloves safety pins um, tissues tampons and not for the obvious reasons some gauze, here's aqua tabs or water purification tabs, um, burn, uh, burn gel, some Q-tips. Uh, it's good to have a small medical, uh, medical part of your bag, just a couple things to treat like minor wounds. Um, I also have my, all my fire stuff here. I have two lighters, waterproof matches, um, and then matches in that little baggie, and then a um, multi-purpose little wallet tool. Check that guy out right there. That looks like it does quite a bit. I haven't used it yet, but it's got a sharp edge on it. Looks like bottle opener, a um, couple other tools. It's got a saw on it, and it's got a um, ruler on it. There's a whistle, and the whistle also has a compass on the. Okay, this one. Yeah, it does. The whistle also has a compass on it. Uh, fire starters, just in case my lighters and matches run out. And I also have some cordage there. Um, the cordage is just one of those things you have to have in every bag. You should always carry it on you. Um, and there's a saw, and I've used those saws a couple times. They're pretty decent for the price. I like them. And then I have an emergency blanket. Um, it keeps in the body heat just in case. And I also have a poncho. Um, those are lifesavers. I've used those quite a bit. Those are one of those things also where you, you don't really know you need them until you don't got them. And a mosquito head net. Those are really nice. I have my survival hat I wear in a lot of my videos. And the mosquito head net would fit over that perfect and keep your face protected from bugs. <clears throat> I have two bandanas here. And I've done a video on ban bandanas and they're um, worth their weight, definitely. Um, I love bandanas. And I carry them on me wherever I go. Here's a glow stick. That's pretty handy. And then also I have two pocket knives. The reason I have two pocket knives is because just in case one breaks or one dolls up, um, you have a spare and that's really important and I can also carry one on me all at all times wherever I go And I recommend you do the same So this little black bag that you guys seen um, near the beginning of the video Was my fishing stuff and I originally didn't have fishing stuff in this bag until I was out camping and I took this bag with me And I realized I didn't have enough fishing stuff in it. I just had a couple hooks and stuff So I actually put together a little um, fishing little fishing bag for my from my survival bag and um, it's paid off. I, I really like it and I've used it a couple times. So I got some twine there, eight pound test and 10 pound test. You shouldn't need much more than that when you're in a survival situation, I'd say. Um, so I got some sinkers here. 
I got some hooks, all different sizes. Also got some swivels, some more hooks, a lure there, and my fishing twine. Um, this is really essential to have because uh, if if you're in the Midwest like I am, there's always a lake or a stream nearby usually. So you always think it can secure some food. So I highly recommend you guys spend some time and some money putting together not only a big bug out bag like I've showed in a couple of my previous videos, but a small little bag like um, I just showed you guys, something you can carry around that's easy to carry and isn't too much of a burden, you know, and it's not too heavy, something you just throw in the back of your car. And I keep that in the back of my Jeep, so I have that stuff on me at all times. Um, I really recommend you put the time and money into one of these. So if I had any suggestions of what should go in a bag like this, because you don't necessarily have to have everything I have in my bag. Um, I just kind of covered the basics and the essentials. Um, a lot of people do it different. I would recommend two or three pocket knives, definitely. Um, you need some kind of tent or some kind of small tent or tarp. Those are, I mean, those are amazing. Um, a little bit of medical, medical supplies. I recommend three different ways to start a fire. You should have three different ways, in my opinion. Um, because if one or two fail, you always have another one. Fire is one of the most essential things. I also recommend cordage. Um, cordage is worth its weight in gold, definitely. And then you need two or three different ways to purify water as well. Um, water is one of the most essential things. You should be able to take this bag here and go anywhere and survive three days. Three days until you can call for help or get back home on this small bag. So let me know what's in your guys' bags in the comments below. Um, a big hobby of mine is making survival bags, uh, bug out bags, carry bags, um, EDC bags, stuff like that. So it's a huge hobby of mine. So um, you guys could let me know what you guys have in your bags. That'd be really cool. I'd love to know. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, like and subscribe. And um, I will see you guys next week. Thank you.